guys, it's Jekyll Ashley. Welcome to my first Chit Chat Thursdays. Um, it's, I was gonna go live, but I was talking to my friend Lori and I decided that I'm going to just pre-record this because I'm not feeling 100%. Um, just before I was gonna go live, my nose just like whew, gushed blood everywhere. So I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna go live just in case that happens again. And I don't want that to happen on live. <laughs> um, so, welcome to Chit Chat Thursdays. It's my first chit chat with you guys. So, I'm very excited to chit chat with you guys. Um, so, grab your beverage, a snack. I have my beverage in my little cup. I have a pink um, monster because the girl needs some energy. Uh, I am reading King of Scars with my friend Lori. Lori Book Trials. Um, we are on page. What page are we on? 100 and, 161. And we just started this yesterday, so we're flying through it and loving it. So, and that's the book update. Um, now on to, I kind of wanted this not to just be like a book channel, but like a book chit chat. I kind of want to just do like different topics too. Um, I like my little setup, I'm like sitting on the couch, kind of you're sitting on your couch maybe. We're kind of like being best buddies. I'm nervous at this stuff. I don't know. Um, but I kind of wanted to just do a little chit chat. Um, and kind of what's on my mind today is, and you may not be interested in this, so if you're not, I'm sorry. But it's just, I'm kind of a little bit interested in it and it kind of piqued my interest, so kind of wanted to talk about it. Uh, next chit chat Thursday will probably be live and most likely it will be on different to different topics, like maybe about books, about different things, other things. This is about cheating. Um, I recently saw an article on Instagram about Tristan Thompson and, and Khloe Kardashian. Uh, he cheated on her, uh, again, allegedly, uh, the second time with Kylie's best friend, Jordan Woods. Um, Kylie and Jordan have been best friends, I think, for over 10 years, I want to say. And, um, he had allegedly been cheating. Okay, honey. He had, he had allegedly been, uh, cheating with Jordan. Um, he was at a party with, with Jordan. He took everybody's phones from them. But people were still there, so pe people could t say, hey, this is what happened. And she spent the night, and Chloe's devastated. Now, this is the second time that he's been caught doing this. The first time was with, like, an Instagram model or something. And Chloe was just giving birth to baby True when this happened. Um, and we all were all devastated for this, to this to happen and for her and everything. Because we knew, like, for me, I kind of followed the Kardashians a little, little bit. Um, but for me, more, I love Chloe because... She had dealt with, like, fertility issues and stuff like that and trying to get pregnant and, like, with Lamar and all other stuff. So I kind of related to that because of my, you know, struggles with trying to conceive and stuff like that. So I knew she wanted to, wanted to be a mom and everything. So when she finally became a mom, I was like, oh, my God, this is so, I'm so happy for her. And then on the day, like, of her finding out and giving birth, she finds out her man cheated on her. And we find this very happening often when women are pregnant, men are cheating on them. Like, um, Cardi B, um, her man cheated, I believe, when she was pregnant. Like, we, we're finding this more often, and I don't understand why that is. Like, is it because the men are not attracted to the women anymore because they're pregnant? Or, like, what is it? I don't understand. But, as somebody who has, um, dealt with cheating in their relationship, no, not with the one that I'm in now, but previous relationships, it sucks. And to be in the public eye and see that and, and have everybody see that, like, that, that just sucks. And I just, I hope that, and to, just, to, just for it to be your best friend, like your your best friend's sisters, your sister your sister's best friend. Like that that's just that's downright dirty. Like that really is. Like you're you're they had a collab together. They had be they've been best friends. She bought her a car. Like they 
they were best friends and to defer to do that like that's just that's dirty I'm sorry but that's dirty and nasty and that's crossing the line but you know I digress um it's just it's it's wrong cheating is wrong in any form whether it be text messaging whether it be calls whether it be actual physical cheating it's it's wrong I feel if you are doing that there's something in your relationship that's missing that you guys need to work on um if he feels I think he is a person who doesn't need to be with anybody because he was cheating he cheated on his baby mama with Chloe so Chloe should have known that you know if he's doing that with it with me he's gonna do it again so obviously right there that's not a stand-up guy he should have been with but there's something that's just missing in that relationship that he finds in somebody else I guess I mean basically that's kind of why men cheat and women cheat is they find something in somebody else like if your man is not complimenting you you and somebody let's just say on the street says oh you you look beautiful today oh thank you thank you and then you start talking to them and they start complimenting you more and then you talk to them and you turn more towards them and away from your spouse because they're complimenting you they're giving you all the compliments they're paying attention to you your spouse isn't so you turn towards them so it's what you're missing in your relationship so instead of working on your relationship finding out what you're missing and expressing to your your spouse hey you're not doing a b and c we need to work on this i'm just gonna say hey whatever i'm gonna go out and find somebody else and that's what I think a lot of people aren't doing in their relationships and they're just going out and just cheating. But hopefully they work out all the situation. Hopefully she realizes she doesn't need a man. Um, and she just be happy. And she realizes she doesn't need a man and she goes and does her own stuff. But what do you guys think about this topic? I know it's kind of a heavy topic. Um, it's like seven minutes and... I just wanted to kind of do just a quick little chit chat with you guys to see how you feel about the situation. Um, my next video will be a lot light, a lot lighter, um, and a lot less, I guess, sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for coming for my first chit chat Thursday. If you have any questions or any comments or anything you think I should talk about next week, just leave them down below. Um, and. Let, let me know what you guys had for your beverage when you watch Chit Chat Thursday. Um, and I will be coming probably live, I want to say, next Chit Chat Thursday. Uh, depending on prior commitments, appointments, it might be live, it might be pre-recorded, we'll see. Um, there's my cat over there. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Like I always say, keep calm, read on the top on, and be kind to each other. Bye guys, thank you for coming for Chit Chat Thursday.